All right, so today we're taking a look at this Tamron lens. It's the 7180 f2.8, as you can see here. Um, it's the Mark II version of that lens. Uh, it has a couple of buttons you can use to set the lens. It extends as opposed to some of the lens you may have seen that are internal zoom, so this one is not. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, now, the one thing when I've used it that I found a little bit, it's just the hood gets gets in the way. Obviously, when the hood is out, like you have like the full ring, is available for you to use for zoom. But when it's not, it's just the way it's designed. It just gets in the way. So right now it's winter. If you're wearing gloves, like you, when you're here. You really don't have a lot to to grab right so that's the just the one thing um, which I've noticed on a couple of lenses um, included Sony ones where where you do not have like the full uh, range for that so you could use it just without uh, when and put it in your bag probably is what I'll end up doing so there's also a USB here USB-C, uh, that's for the purpose of updating the lens. And so any firmware updates to make this lens better would uh, come through this mean. The other thing I would say about this particular lens is the cap, I find like a little bit awkward to put back on. And so when you're just like taking it on and off, like it's just a little bit, a uh, little bit, uh, other thing you need to just have a think about. There's a lock button, so if you wanted to uh, lock the um, the lens, uh, so you can use that. I don't seem to be able to use it though. Interesting. Ah, here we go. <laughs> There we go. So now we are locked. Um, so you can only lock it in the 70 mil position. Is that right? Let's have a look. That is right. How about four? All right. Interesting. So yeah, you can have a click here when you try to. So you can lock it in this position at 70 and that's it. So it's worth, it's worth noting that that lock position is just for that purpose of keeping it in this smaller form factor uh, of 70 mil. Uh, I've taken a few pictures with it. Uh, I've been uh, very happy with it. It's a 2.8, so it does a great job also in terms of separation uh, of a subject. And uh, I'll, put, I'll put a couple of links in the uh, video description for you to go and, and check out examples of uh, of me using it but yeah very good lens uh i've been happy with it so far and so hopefully if you pick it up it's quite inexpensive in terms i mean <laughs> i say inexpensive uh in the uk uh this was a 1300 pound lens uh, so i think new it retails around just under 1500 pounds um and so so it's it's a enthusiast uh, lens, but it's not it's not the most expensive lens when you compare it to some of the other lenses, uh, especially the Sony ones. Uh, it doesn't do as good a job in terms of the autofocus, but it's very good um, from, from from my experience. There we go. So if you, if you have this lens, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any other of the other lens in that particular range with 70 to 200, in particular the Sigma, Sport uh, 2 or the Sony, uh, the F4, probably G is, is the, the closest to that. Uh, let me know how you, you find those. I'm, I'm curious to, uh, to know what uh, the other lens uh, are like. Thank you. See you soon.